Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have my Pan Those Eyeshadows update and I am super excited. So I have my five palettes here that were in for the month of April and I am excited to show you the progress on each of these shades. So I'm just going to go in the order that I have them written down, the order that they got rolled in. So up first we have my Miss Claus So Spoiled palette and I had the shade Lit At Last. So Lit At Last is this shade right down here and I have had this one in for two months now and this past month I used it only once for a total of four uses in this project which isn't super great. I did kind of want to reach for it more but I'm just really not reaching for blues too much during this time of year so it was a little bit of a trickier shade for me to use but I am really happy that it was rolled in and there is a very very small amount of progress just like a little few little brush marks in there so I can tell I use the shade at least which is nice and it is one that I know I will use naturally in the future but I did have this in in for two months so I will be rolling it out Alright, my next palette up is my Wet n Wild Stop Playing Safe palette, and I had the shade number 9, and this one has also been in for two months. So, the ninth shade in this palette is this dark kind of shimmery blue shade another blue so as you can imagine I didn't get a ton of use from this one either but I used it once this past month for a total of three uses in this project so not great this is really not my favorite shade I found ways to make it work that I did enjoy but overall this is not one that I'm going to be reaching for a ton so I got a few uses out of it and I am really happy with that. So it has been in for two months and I can roll it out. Next up, another palette that has been in for two months is my Sigma Cinderella palette. And I had the shade Fantasy. So Fantasy is this darker purple shimmer right here and I hope you can tell that there is a little bit of progress on this one as well. Just some disturbance in the pan, not a dip yet, but I did use it two times this past month for a total of four uses within this project and I started out this project with the shade not really thinking I liked it, but it did kind of surprise me. I did enjoy using it. I especially enjoyed using it in the outer corner. I thought it was really pretty for that, and I found more of an appreciation for the shadow than I originally had, which is super nice, but I am ready to roll the shade out. Next up, we have my Bibella Cosmetics Lotus Love Palette, and this one just got rolled in last month. And I had the shade Petals. So Petals is this light matte purple shade up here. Definitely one of my favorites in this palette. I did only reach for it once this past month, which isn't great, but... I am keeping it in, so I anticipate using it at least a few more times this next month. And I feel like during this time of year is really nice to reach for this shade. 
I really enjoy light purples and pinks, those types of shades during this time of year, so this one is absolutely perfect. I just need to kind of remember it's in this project and to reach for it. The one time I did reach for this, I paired it with the shade Fantasy, which was I just showed previously, and I really did like what those two look like together, but I really just need to, like I said, remember this is in the project and get myself to reach for it. And our final shade that was in for April comes from my ABH Soft Glam Palette, and this one just rolled in last month as well, and it is the shade Fairy. So as you can see, I did hit pan on this shade. It took me a total of six uses within this project to hit pan, which I know isn't a lot, but I did have a little bit of a dip on this when I rolled it in, and ABH shades, especially in this palette I find, are super easy to hit pan on, so I'm not super surprised. I did think it would take the two months to do it, but I'm definitely not mad about it already rolling out of this project and getting another pan in my collection. So super excited about this and of course it will be rolling out since I did hit pan. Alright, so these four palettes will be rolling out and then we have the one staying in. So that means I get to roll in four new shades and I am so excited. This is always the most fun part of these videos. So I have my Pretty Random app set from 1 to 1,000. I do have a 1,000 shades in my collection, which I find just very satisfying to have such a nice round number like that. But this does include shades that already have pan on it, so if I roll one of those, I will just re-roll. And if I have, I roll in a shade that has already been in this project this year. So our first shade is going to be number 777. Oh, that's going to be a tricky one. Okay, this comes from my I Heart Revolution Mulan palette, and it is the shade Con. So I will show all of these at the end after I roll them all in. So our second number is 578. And 578 comes from another Be Bella palette. This is my O oh Poppy palette and it is the shade Poppy Petals. Next up is 346. So 346 actually comes from my ABH Soft Glam palette as well. And it is the shade Mulberry. So that one's super exciting. And then I think we have one more to roll in. Oh, this is going to be the same palette, isn't it? So I am going to re-roll just because I don't really want a duplicate from my I Heart Revolution Mulan palette. So sorry, but I, I can really only handle one shade from that palette. So next up is number 132, and it is from my Wet n Wild and Pac-Man palette, and it is shade number 4. So I'm going to go grab all of those and be right back. So first up we rolled in my I Heart Revolution and Disney Mulan palette. And we got the shade Con, which is this last matte black shade down here. I, I'm not very excited about the shade, I will be honest. This is not one of my favorite palettes. And... I got the matte black from it, so it's not super exciting shade either, but I will try and make an effort to reach for it. This is definitely going to be one that stays in for the two months and rolls out, but I will try and reach for it a handful of times in the next couple months while it's in. And the other shade, if you are curious, was this kind of green shimmery shade that was rolled in, but I did end up skipping that one just because... I really didn't want another shade from this palette. Alright, then next we have my Bibella Cosmetics O Poppy palette. And we got the shade Poppy Petals, 
which is this matte reddish shade over here. I think that is a really pretty shade and I'm excited it's going to be rolling in. Not one I've reached for a ton, so we will see how much use I can get out of it, but I am pretty excited about this one and just reaching for this palette in general. Alright, we are pulling my ABH Soft Glam back out. We just rolled out the shade Fairy for hitting pan on it. And now we have the shade Mulberry over here. And that is actually one of my favorite shades in this palette. I really do enjoy it. I am not sure if I will be able to hit pan on it. There doesn't really seem to be that much usage on it right now, even though I know I've used it quite a few times. So we will see how the next couple months go with it, see if I can get close, maybe hit pan on it. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess, but I am super excited about the shade. I kind of wish I had a little break from this palette, but I do love it, so it's not a huge deal. Alright then, the last shade that we'll be rolling in comes from my Wet n Wild Game Over palette. This is their Pac-Man collab. And we got shade number 4, which is this matte kind of turquoisey blue shade, which I am super excited about. This is one, this is a palette in general that I do not use a ton, but I am so excited that out of the shades in this palette that that is the one that got chosen because it is probably my favorite shade in this palette, and I would like to hit pan on it eventually. I'm not sure if I will be able to within this project. We will see, but I am super happy to have it rolled in and hopefully get some good progress on it. So those are the five shades that will be in. Here are the five palettes. And I will go ahead and insert a picture of the swatches of the new color story. I am pretty excited about this new round of shadows, other than maybe that matte black shade that rolled in. But overall, I am super excited to get some use out of these shades, see what kind of progress we make, and see if any of them could potentially be shades that I can pan. So let me know what you think of this project, what you thought of this video, and also be sure to let me know what else you would like to see from me. I am always open to suggestions. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. And with all of that said, I will see you in my next video. Bye!